Brian Herta is being shown the leader. Tony Kanan runs second. Elio Castro Neves is third. Joe Barron is fourth. And Scott Dixon is fifth. We'll recap everything here with five laps remaining after we get here from Pat Patterson. Well, if you look at how fast Herta's running right now, Davey, and take a look at the rest of the people, there's no question he's trying to save some fuel down here. Mike Landry, I don't think I've ever seen him as nervous as he is right now. But you look at that scoring monitor, it kind of tells the story. Uh, two, 207s he's running compared to 213, 212. Yeah. So he is definitely, definitely conserving fuel. I just don't think he can make, I don't think he can do a 61 lap skin here, uh, all 61 laps under green flag conditions. Yeah, and if he does, I, I'm sure the other teams want to see his fuel tank and see how they, exactly how they did it. But uh, the other side, back to no pressure, he has absolutely no pressure. He is right now a half a lap, basically, ahead of ahead of third and fourth place of Elio and Jill DeFerrin. They're no to tell. They're, they're putting the pressure on themselves to go fast and catch him. But with only three laps left to go, man, Brian may have it made. Okay, well, let's uh, let's keep an eye out now for Brian Herta, and I believe he is right in front of you, actually making his way into turn number three, Mark Jane, so we'll keep our eye on him. Here comes Brian Herta. He runs behind one of the Dreyer and Reinbold cars off of turn number four. He will complete 198 laps this time by Brian Herta in car number 27, the Archipelago and Trinity Green Machine. Now in turn number one, Mark James. Brian Herta is going to stay tucked in behind that Dreyer and Reinbold car, the lap car of Robbie Buell. He stayed uh, within striking distance of Buell, tucking in behind him, maybe getting a little help down the back straightaway and down the front straightaway. They're already in four. Well, I tell you what, the white flag is going to be shown to Brian Herta this time by. Let's see. He looks like he is very slow on the racetrack in terms of overall speed. 203.961 miles an hour. Elio Castro Neves will be the only driver with a shot at him. But Elio, more than a straightaway behind the 20 seven car. Let's watch now the back straight. Brian Hurt in front of our chain. Already setting up for turn number three. He's awfully, awfully slow, but we look back and just now Team Penske is entering the back straightaway. I believe Brian Hurt is going to coast to a win. In his fourth IndyCar Series start, Brian Hurt will be a winner. Quinn Checker's way for the 27 machine of Brian Hurt.